And hello everybody, hope everybody's alright. Hope everybody's looking after themselves. Welcome back to Freedom Fighter. This is Derby Crown County um, Court. It's called the Derby Combined Court Centre, this is called. Yeah. They're all uh, located in it. When you're filming the court buildings, you're all right filming outside, um, but don't go inside, um, because if you go inside, that's taking a camera um, within a court, taking a phone within a court. So just bear that in mind. Quite a biggish uh, building, guys. This is where the uh, vans go in, it must like it looks like. Well, there you go guys, that's the, uh, that's the car. We'll move on. This is Derby Council. Guys. Have a walk uh, around here, see what this see what this is. This is uh, Derby Council guys. Quite a biggish uh, fucking building. Hmm. Staff entrance. I'm going on to the uh, on to the dock. That's the courthouse. 
This uh, council's got quite a few um, failings. Um, they actually have to pay out um, families um, to settle uh, after court. Um, the failing uh, with the mental health services in uh, the council and the social services are failing um, people. Derby Council failed to make her ill woman's final days more distressed uh, as well, that, that's one. So, we'll put all these underneath anyway. Which, Uh, the coming as a result of an investigation from the local government and social care ombudsman, a Derbyshire woman with a terminal illness died by the time the council came forward with plans which could have made their final days more easy. An investigator had found this comes as a result of an investigation from Council watchdogs, the local government and social care ombudsman. It was reported that EGO said that a Mr X complained to the watchdog that his late wife, Mrs X, last months were unnecessary, painful and disgraceful as a result of failure from Derbyshire City Council. The watchman had told the council to apologise to Mr X and to pay him £250 for the injustice caused, causing the husband to live with uncertainty that his wife of 42 years may have been helpful help to die with more dignity. In a case reported, the watchdog said Mr X contacted the council in August last year asking for the councils to assist to see if his wife would, and could get the things and make it a little more easy, like a stale lift, etc. The report said at the time Mrs X had been sleeping in the couple's living room because she could no longer safely manage walking up and down stairs. We were providing the care, the report replied. The council responded to Mr X to say it would be at least 18 months before any work could be done at the, to the home. With the watchdog notice, Mrs X was no likely to longer to be alive. In, Oct in October 2020, the council contacted Mr X to arrange a day to assist his wife, but by the time Mrs X had died, six weeks after Mr Head had contacted the authorities. So basically, that's just one, that's just one of many.
it's also a job centre as well guys and a library yeah. everything seems to be going online as well with these uh, these buildings But like I said, the council in Derby, like many councils, seem to be failing um, people uh, with uh, requirements for care. This is absolutely and utterly shocking. But 9 out of 10, what the blame in is... Uh, the lack of uh, funding and the lack of uh, government support for it but there again you've got to realise the government can only do so much because here in the United Kingdom we have two governments I'll repeat that again we have two governments we have the local authority government which are your councillors and we have the government government so the funding and the amount that social care education etc actually get here in the UK is actually set by the local authority uh, and your local authority is technically the council so when you're voting for your councillors uh, to stand for you, uh, they actually vote, have more powers than they actually make on. It's also your local councillors and things like that that also set uh, funding for bus routes um, and also stuff like all stuff like that. They also um, do all other types of things as well. Um, that the funding they get for social services comes from the local authority but many of these local authorities uh, now are having independent local mayors and they're making them into combined authorities so they have one combined authority that actually manages the old councils and it happens uh, quite a bit um, to councils now it's only uh, recently it's happened in uh, West Yorkshire and uh, the Mayor of West Yorkshire, Tracy Bremen, uh, of course the Coronation Street and Emmerdale actress um, has uh, been um, elected uh, but that's that tends to happen and this is the uh, council <laughs> 